Hello, children. Good morning, all of you. This is you, Cecilia Mary. Social CRP DV Satram, SPSR Rallu District, Samagra Siksha, KGBB Schools. Children, how are you all? I think you are all fine. Okay. So, uh, I think you are uh, at home and also following all online classes. Okay. And uh, today we are going to learn 8th class social lesson. Children, in previous classes, I mean 6th class and 7th uh, class, you all studied uh, different places, about different places and uh, crops and crops and uh, uh, food habits like that uh, you studied uh, about different places in the uh, 6th class and 7th class. Now in this uh, class you are going to study about a different place or a different region and uh, children here in this uh, place Continuous nights and continuous days are there in this region. Okay. And have you ever seen like this in your areas or places? No. Okay. So, this is very different place. So, that is the polar region. The polar region. The polar region. See, if you observe the world map, this polar region is near the poles. Near the poles. If you observe the, uh, if you observe the globe, see, this is a globe. This is globe, and uh, here. Upper portion. See, this is a north pole. North pole. This region is very closer to the north pole. And some of the countries, some of the countries, northern parts of some countries also lie in this region. In this polar region. See, on the globe, on the globe if you children once you recall this main lines on the globe main lines on the globe this is the equator and this is the tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn tropic of cancer Tropic of Capricorn and this is Arctic Circle, Arctic Circle and this is Antarctic Circle. Antarctic Circle and we know this 23 and half degrees north latitude is called the Tropic of Cancer. 23 and half degrees south latitude is called the Tropic of Cancer. And 0 degrees latitude is equator. And 66 and half degrees north latitude is called the Arctic Circle. And 66 and half uh, south latitude is uh, Antarctic circuit and uh, this is uh, 90 degrees 90 degrees north latitude that is uh, dot and uh, here also 90 degrees 
South Atlantic. Twenty-three and a half degrees south latitude and sixty-six and a half degrees south latitude and this is south pole and this is north pole. North pole. Okay. So area which is which is from Arctic Circle to North Pole. This is called polar region. This is called polar region. Like that in south also here from Arctic Circle to South Pole. This total region. This area from Antarctic Circle to South Pole, 90 degrees south uh, latitude, South Pole. This region is called also polar region. Okay, so in this class we are going to study or learn about this region. Okay, this region is very difficult. In this uh, uh, difficult, uh, different, uh, different region, this is different region and uh, to live here also very difficult. Okay, why? Because it is very cold. It is very cold, very cold and total area, total landscape uh, frozen, frozen condition and seas, rivers, lakes, oceans, everything is uh, frozen. Okay, so children notice this uh, boundary of the region. This is known as the Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle and in this uh, Arctic Circle, northern parts of continents are here. This region is called Tundra. Tundra means very cold. Very cold. Seasons in Tundra. Seasons in Tundra. In Tundra, two seasons we can observe. One is uh, winter and second one is summer. In our country we can see everyday sunshine and sunset. But in Tundra region it does not happen. It is very cold in Tundra. In winter 3 months November, December, January almost dark because sun does not rise at all. In this season water also freezes and Everything in uh, on the landscape, rivers, lakes, seas also becomes frozen. Okay. Why? Because, because of uh, severe cold. Because of uh, severe cold, plants also die. During this season, birds and animals migrate. The total region becomes desolated. Becomes desolated. And in summer... The sun begins to shine from February to March. In this uh, uh, season, the sun shines, uh, begin, beginning sun shines, one and a half hour then sets. Gradually, this time increases like 2 hours, 4 hours, 6 hours, 8 hours, 16 hours and 24 hours. Almost 3 months from May to July, the sun never sets. Sun does not rise overhead. Warm conditions will be there. Even in summer also, it is cold. Due to warm weather, some of the ice melts and rivers begin to flow. Huge ice blocks break off, then float into the ocean as icebergs. During summer, multicolored plants, lichens, grass, shrubs and berries sprout all around. These small plants bear flowers and fruits. Many birds and animals come to feed on them. Okay, in this season, in during during summer season, the total area looks like very beautiful with small.
flowers and colorful uh, shrubs and tundra vegetation tundra vegetation throughout the year because of cold conditions the upper soil surface of the region is frozen like rock this is called permafrost this is called permafrost underground soil becomes very hard underground soil becomes very hard it is difficult for trees to grow the trees get uprooted with the strong winds so tundra region is treeless the people eskimos the people eskimos the arctic is a region of vast treeless plains icy seas and barren rocky islands this harsh cold land is the home of eskimos home of eskimos they live in greenland canada alaska and siberia eskimos isolated from other people they lived by hunting and fishing their main occupation is hunting and fishing their lifestyle is different their lifestyle is different eskimos meaning eskimos meaning snow shoe netter snow shoe netter eskimos are two groups eskimos are two groups one is inuit and second one is yupik they are descendants of siberia they have languages and spoken for thousands of years their main languages are aleut yupik and inupik and northern alaska to greenland most of the people are inupik or they are uh, speaking and south western alaska and siberia they are using yupik language yupik language first eskimos came from asia and first they entered north america about 5000 years ago eskimos groups moved to other places now their population is growing siberia alaska greenland canada are the main places of eskimos and most uh, most are on the treeless tundra or arctic plain just group life eskimos live in small groups in northern alaska coast there are villages of over 500 people in eastern region that is greenland baffin island and labrador these people move from place to place throughout the year and they follow seasonal activities in winter they spend near the coast for hunting seals and fishing in summer they hunt caribou and gather berries it is very difficult to walk on the frozen seas rivers and they cross snow and ice on sledges pulled by dogs they travel on water they travel on water in open boats called umiaks group life is very important group members work together in hunting to hunt seals 10 to 12 members needed they use harpoons to hunt seals to hunt caribou over 100 people work together and whales and fishing hunting and fishing eskimos are highly skilled at hunting and fishing caribou hunting is very essential they used bows and arrows harpoons to catch the caribou fishing also very important for some groups and skilled hunters 
also there in these groups seals are harpooned from kayaks kayaks are small boats made of animal skins stretched on wooden frame their main food is meat fat and fish vegetables are scarce here hunger and starvation are common in this region they used to store meat and fish in shallow pits these pits are dug down to permafrost and covered with piles of stones wood also scarce to roast the meat and fish raw meat or fish are frozen and cut into thin strips which are dipped in whale or seal oil some meat is eaten decayed state next shelter igloo means shelter igloo means shelter this is dome shaped snow house dome shaped snow house in summer eskimos live in tents made of animal skins they use walrus skin and wooden frames also used to make this igloo and northern coast of alaska people used whale ribs also and frozen turf also used to cover the dome and in greenland people use stone slabs to build this igloo snow houses are used only in the eastern and central regions larger snow houses are used as winter residences long tunnel entrances provide storage space in these larger homes the entrance tunnel opens into the house below the floor level snow benches also arranged in igloo about 1 meter high sometimes two large snow houses are joined together by tunnels take down assignment first question locate polar region in the world map second one what is called igloo third one how are seasons in tundra and fourth one write about tundra vegetation okay children read the lesson and go through all online classes take care and don't waste time okay children